1st August 1947, as India was getting ready to welcome the much cherished blessing of freedom after ages of struggle, the Kore household in the village of Ankli in North Karnataka was abuzz with activity. Basa Prabhu and Sharda Devi Kore were overjoyed to welcome a little bundle of joy, who they would later name Prabhakar, the one who brings light. Prabhakar Kore took his first lessons in Marathi medium school. set up by his father at Ankli he moved to Kale J High School Belagami and subsequently completed his college education at Gokte College of Commerce the signs of leadership were always evident and prabhakar proved the same by becoming the general secretary of the college he was part of a student delegation that represented india at an expo in japan amazed by the development he witnessed in japan he vowed to bring the best of the world to his people at home he returned to ankli to manage the family business and agriculture in 1984 prabhakar kore took responsibility as chairman of kale society the organization established in 1916 provided affordable quality education through its 38 institutions spread across karnataka and maharashtra under his leadership since 1984 Kale has grown to over 290 institutions. He established the Kale Academy of Higher Education and Research for Health Sciences. Kale Technological University provides opportunities for technical education and supports the Make in India initiative. Dr. Kore also established the USM Kale International Medical Program, a medical college exclusively for the students from Malaysia. Thanks to his vision and relentless effort, Kale today has nearly 138000 students from kindergarten to post doctoral studies he provided impetus to research by establishing a research unit at kale jawaharlal nehru medical college the unit today is an officially designated who center for research in maternal and newborn health the research outcomes have defined global public health policy and have positively impacted thousands of families across the world in order to bring quality healthcare at affordable cost to the tier 2 city of belagami and surrounding villages he established a state of the art 1000 beds hospital the super specialty hospital aptly called dr prabhakar kore hospital is also a recognized organ transplant center which has successfully conducted 8 heart transplants and over 50 kidney transplants. Kale today has a combined healthcare capacity of over 4000 beds with over 1700 charitable beds for the needy. Dr. Kore has contributed immensely to the cooperative sector in North Karnataka by ensuring the welfare of sugarcane growers. He has played a major role in modernizing the then Doodganga Cooperative Sugar Factory and has established the Shiv Shakti Sugar Factory. He established the Kale School of Agriculture to provide education and training to children of farmers and the ICAR Kale Krishi Vigyan Kendra to promote research and scientific farming. The Cooperative Bank Dr. Prabhakar Kore Sohad Sahakari Niyamit is assisting the villagers with loan for irrigation housing and other essentials championing the cause of women empowerment he has promoted the establishment and growth of the rani chennamma mahila sahakari bank niyamit dr kore's illustrious political career includes one term as member of the karnataka state legislative council and a stunning three consecutive terms as member of parliament rajya sabha He has been a member of several parliamentary committees and several foreign delegations. He played a pivotal role in the conduct of the first Karnataka Assembly session at Kale JNMC campus for the first time outside Bengaluru. Subsequently, he paved the path for the establishment of Swarna Sauda, thus making Belagavi the second capital of Karnataka. Dr Kore has been the recipient of several awards and recognition. He is the first Indian to receive the prestigious honorary degree of Doctorate of Science from the Thomas Jefferson University USA. He is also the second Indian after Dr Abdul Kalam to receive an honorary doctorate from University Saints Malaysia. 
He has also been honored with the Karnataka Rajyotsava Award and has received several other awards including honorary doctorates from Karnataka University Dharwad and Rani Chennamma University. Standing tall, proud and first among equals for his contributions to society, Dr. Kore at 75 continues to inspire. His life has been a wonderful celebration of far-sightedness, commitment, effort and leadership. On 15th October 2022 we are celebrating his Amrit Mahotsav at 2 pm at the district stadium Belgavi the occasion will be graced by honorable union minister for education shri dharmendra pradhan join us as we celebrate the 75th birth year of a person who has transformed the societal landscapes in north karnataka and beyond